Hi, I'm Rosalyn Oshmansky, and we're here with Wonderwall.com. I have a special wonder view for you today. We have Aaron Robinson Hi. and Jocelyn Davis. You might know them from the Clever YouTube channel where I used to work with them, but they have recently been taking a journey around the world. That's right, they are on the Amazing Race Season 28. Yes. So and we came all the way back here just to see you. Just By to the way, hang out. Love you so much. <laughs> First off, out of every season on The Amazing Race, 28 of them, you are on a season with all social media influencers like yourselves. Yeah. Why is this the perfect time to do this? Well, first of all, I have to say we were so honored that we were asked we're to be on this show. There are some serious powerhouses mm -hmm. and people that we've looked up to for years in the business that we finally get to collaborate with and compete against. Uh, people on the internet are becoming more well-known. They're more influential than ever before. So it was just a matter of time that this was going to happen. Yeah, and it was really history being made because no show has ever done a fully digital cast. And I think it was such a cool risk for CBS and for the show to take. It was awesome. And speaking of being friends, when you first found out who was on the show with you guys, who did you think was your biggest competition? You never know. If someone looks like they're competitive, they may be out in the first leg, and the people that you don't expect end up taking it all. So we were thinking about it in terms of who can we align ourselves with to help support our mm -hmm. weaknesses. And so we wanted, of course, to team up with people who are taller and a little stronger and a little faster. Right a little faster, there. but truth be told, we did not know who the cast was going to be until we showed up day oh. one and Chill was lost, freaking out to see all of the amazing people they assembled. Everybody's a competitor this season. And you know, I'm watching this show and I'm like, oh my God, you're running around like crazy people. <laughs> do you eat? Do you sleep? Like, what are we not Great seeing question, on television? Lovely. Great question. Uh, we do sleep, but not a lot. We okay. do eat, but not a lot, and I think that's part of reality. They want us to be really on the edge of losing mm -hmm. our minds. We're mostly hungry, though, because you do so much running, and you don't have enough time to stop mm -hmm. and eat, and you can't bear the weight because our bags are already too heavy, even like an apple. One day I was like, I want to save this for later, but it weighs three ounces, and I can't it's afford it. <laughs> but fun fact, um, in the first episode, which just aired, they didn't show where we slept, but we slept on someone's patio oh. outside. Wow. All of us together in sleeping bags. It was so freezing. We ended up cuddling with people that we <laughs> didn't just know. didn't really know, and we're like, "Oh, is this is awkward. I don't know, but we're dying." People it's so are cold. taking their pants off. I it's was like, like nice "Oh to meet gosh, you. we're going to be friends." <laughs> I don't know. For everyone who's watching the show at home, who's ever said. I want to be on the show. What advice do you have for them? How can you mentally and physically prepare for this? A lot of crossword puzzles and Rubik's cubes, and you should definitely be in the best shape of your life. Beyond that, you don't know what's going to happen. So we trained a lot and hardly any of the stuff we did <laughs> played out in the race. When you're in the race, your adrenaline is going so intensely. Everybody's going crazy around you. It's hard to keep your cool. And when people watch the show and they are so passionate about what sh we should have done, well, Joss and I did the same thing. We watched episodes and we we're like, we could do that. What That's is idiots easy. <laughs> when you are in it, you are completely out of control. And it is one fascinating physical experiment with yourself. And we'd do it again in a heartbeat. For sure. Like, literally right now, if you said, by the way, here's, your here's clue. a clue, <laughs> you're still racing, <laughs> Jocelyn and I would kick off our heels and <laughs> run like wild people. No, and, you know, now that you guys are back, is there something you would have done differently? Like, what's going on in your minds while you watch this show? I wish I would have thrown that backpack out in leg one. It weighed 25 pounds. I was desperately clinging on to crap that I didn't need. Mm -hmm. If we did it again, I'd wear one outfit and maybe have a coat and maybe a change of underwear and that's it. Um, I think what I would have done is only run as far as training goes, like run marathons. Yeah. Because you're s literally sprinting all the time on the show. Like in the first episode, we sprinted two miles. And I don't run unless something or someone is chasing me. <laughs> and so, you know, that is saying something. <laughs> I'm actually, my knee still hurt and it's been months later. Uh, so yeah, running was yeah. definitely something we do differently. I just want to thank you both so much for coming in for this. This was an amazing one of you. Jocelyn, Aaron, watch them every Friday. That's right. The Amazing Race, season 28. Also, clever. Check clever. out their YouTube channel and stay tuned to Wonderwall for more Wonder Bees.